Sports Talk, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Oklahoma is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He fights forward to about the 26. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Tackled for a loss, and that run got stuffed. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Throws it deep. The defender had it and then dropped it. Manning was the intended receiver on the play. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Mims takes it at the 33. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Oklahoma's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Throws incomplete. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. Second and 10. Ball on their own 43. Let's go! Quick pass. They'll bring him down at about the 45. Not a real fancy play here. Just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. It and he stopped short of the line of scrimmage. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. From the 48-yard line, second down. Gets it. He's in space. Tackle around the 34-yard line. at the 20. He gets out to about the 17-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. Scrambled. Throws quickly into the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. So a six-play, 57-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Oklahoma's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Call it a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. Tackled after a decent pickup. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a gain of seven yards. First down. And he tackles him hard at the 49-yard line. From the 49-yard line, second down. Tackle made at the 49. That was just smash-mouth, helmet-to-chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Here's the handoff, and he's brought down right away. The defense was all over that draw play. And they got very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. Mims is back deep to return the punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking 12, the defense. The Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Oklahoma is up a score. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. quickly and it's picked off and down he goes at the 41 yard line he didn't throw it away under pressure and it really cost him it sure did he saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs he's got to learn to take the sack it's first and ten ball on the 41 yard line And he's tackled at the 44. Oh, 
He's at the 30, and they bring him down at the 19. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. The five, touchdown, Nebraska. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point with a three-play, 41-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, this offensive line has done a really good job, but really, I think it's more about the big play ability from the running backs and why we've seen so many big plays from this offense. We're even at seven in this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did in their last drive, which ended with a turnover. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you're going to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Brooks gets about four yards on the play. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled at the 41. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Now Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. good gain on the play by the halfback. He took advantage of a powerful effort by his offensive line to turn that into a pretty big run. From the 45-yard line, first down. And he got it! Touchdown, OU! And he tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Brought down, right around the 34. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He fights forward to about the 36. Not much there for the halfback, but he picked up some tough yardage. Well, nothing fancy here. The back did a nice job of putting his head down and getting the first down. On the throw, incomplete pass. Second down, 10 to go. 
Ball on their own 36. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home. The blocking wasn't there, and down he went. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. And they make the stop right around the 46-yard line. This guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous. No wonder he's looked to on third down. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. run and he's brought down here's a handoff left side he fights forward to around midfield third down again These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. Great catch by the linebacker, but not a smart throw from the quarterback. It didn't look like the quarterback even saw the linebacker hanging in that area. It pays to be in the right spot at the right time. From their own 48-yard line. First down, Oklahoma. Up seven points. Makes it out to about the 40. in and he's got a lane makes it to the 21 first and 10 ball on the 21 yard line Fires it quickly. It's picked off. The defense now has two interceptions in the game. I think there was a miscommunication there on the offensive side of the ball. I think maybe the receiver ran the wrong route. But regardless, still great play by the defense. First down. Defense will be digging in here as they're inside their own five. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. Well, if you like offense, you had to have loved that first quarter of play. The Sooners lead 14-7. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 31. Go. 
gets to about the 34-yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. First and 10, ball on the 34-yard line. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. They'll get him for a loss. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Now he's scrambling. They'll make the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. He's under pressure. He goes out of bounds at the 48. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 33. Oklahoma is up seven. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. He's got it with room to run. He's at the 40. Tackle around the 33-yard line. three yard line it's first down nice run to the left there Pulls in the pass and steps out. So they complete that for about four yards, and they'll pick up a first down. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad, and it allowed the quarterback to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. And he is drilled at the 23. Drop back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Second down and 11. Ball on the 23. Oklahoma is up by a touchdown. Inside give. He fights forward to about the 20. Here's the eighth play of the series. Tackle. 
tackle made right around the four-yard line. First and goal from the three. They're knocking on the door. Strike to his receiver, no good. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Touchdown Sooners. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he's taken down at the 23-yard line. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd is always into it here. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. From their own 35-yard line, first down. And he's tackled at the 37. And down he goes at the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line. First down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it second and six. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. He's at the 30. He's tackled around the 21-yard line. Nothing really flashy about it, just a case of everybody knowing their role and the defense not reacting quickly enough. It's first and 10. Ball on the 21. Throws and it's incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback 
is when he has a wide receiver wide open and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping and throwing. And that time he aimed the ball and it was incomplete. And I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And they push him out at the 20. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. Kicks up, and he's got it. Nebraska is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Sooners right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half and you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this, and let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack him. In my opinion, they've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on it. What they've done so far hasn't worked. Nice run there as they work the outside. The Cornhuskers taking their first time out of the half. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 28. Throws this one out to the left. What great concentration. He left his feet, made the catch, and managed to secure it when he hit the ground. That was just sensational. Tackles him hard at the 49-yard line. Losses eight yards on the play. That'll make it second. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Muscles in on the play. Steps up in the pocket and sacked. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Brought down at the 19. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. He scrambled, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. He's going to air it long. He's got it. 
inside the 30 to the 10. He'll take it all away for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Oklahoma is up by four. He's to the 40. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. And this one's going to get intercepted. There's been no lack of scoring here as we've reached halftime. The score, 21-17, Sooner. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. You know who I feel sorry for in that first half? Who? the poor production assistant on SportsCenter who's going to try to sift through all of those highlights and come out with the ones he's going to choose to try to make the SportsCenter top 10. Da -da -da, da -da -da. No, there there's definitely a, a lot to choose from, but that's what you like as a fan. I, I think the fans, they like that and enjoy that more than they like seeing great defense. They like seeing guys go up and make huge one-handed stabs and guys make big, long diving touchdown runs, and they like all that. So they like watching guys hurdle over guys. You see it all the time. So. I think the kids know that, too, and they're trying to do their best to always, you know, make a huge play, make a big explosive play, and put a little cherry on top of that play so that they can be uh, maybe on one of those ESPN top plays. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This day has not gone exactly as planned for this quarterback. Well, he's made some bad throws that he'd love to have back, but he just needs to forget about that and move on. They're still in this game. For the sake of holding out of this slim lead, he has to be very careful with the football, or the fans might just let him hear it. We're about set to start things up again. Oklahoma is up four. And they make the stop at about the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. run there. Brooks gets about four yards on the draw play. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. That makes it fourth and four. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. 
And down he goes at the 36-yard line. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Very good tackle in space. First and 10. Ball on the 49. Fires out quickly to the tailback. They'll bring him down at the 48. Gonna try and scramble. Slides down. Picks up five on the scramble. So it's third down now, and they're gonna need about four. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. Quick throw, incomplete. Vaughn at his receiver. Trying to change the field position with his kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Nebraska is not going to back down from anybody, Herbie, I guess, at least not today. No, not today. They've played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Oklahoma holds a four-point lead with the pass incomplete. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Right around the 36-yard line. trying to lure the secondary in to play more press coverage. And then they'll try to take advantage by going deep. Those safeties better be ready. From their own 38-yard line, second down. Brought down at the 40. A two-yard run by the halfback. This guy is very physical, and he does a good job of taking on blockers. Caught in a big hit. He stopped in his tracks. He fields the punt at the 16. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. Second down and 12. Ball on the 27. Tackle made at the 36. That makes it 
Listen to this place. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 41. And he stopped behind the line. run up the middle third down six to go ball on the 44 really one of the very tough places to play in college football and it's no different today delivers to the halfback on the screen and he's taken down at the 41 yard line Mims back deep to return. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Oklahoma is up by four. He throws left, and down he goes at the 50-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50. Gets to about the 47-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. After a decent pickup. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And he's tackled after positive yardage. off to the left he's tackled around the 38 yard line well, I, I think calling the plays you've got to be aware of this guy he's making too many plays and when he's that close to the line of scrimmage defending the run not allowing your running back to even get up to the line of scrimmage you've got to do something to make him pay for that if he's going to cheat up to the line of scrimmage if you're calling the plays listen up this is a great time to go play action and try to throw the ball right over top of his head and he's tackled around the 30-yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Oklahoma is up four. There's a fumble. He picks it up. That's a great tackle at the 30-yard line. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. 
The kick is up, and he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. Intended for the tailback that time. Yeah, the quarterback underthrew him here, but it's a good job of taking the incompletion instead of risking a turnover. From their own 25-yard line, second down. And that one's incomplete. The crowd really making it difficult. Got his man. Can't tag on any yardage. Mims back to return it. Gets to about the 41-yard line. You're always looking for the home run return. The big highlight didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. The defense was able to keep him out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. Oklahoma up seven points. Catches it, and he's punished. That makes it second and six. From their own 45-yard line, second down. Let's go. Pass is caught. The defense lays him out. Makes it out to about the 43. It's first and 10. Ball on the 43 yard line. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Hang on tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. The Sooners with a touchdown lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Oh, and he can't hang on. Huge drop there. Third down again. Oklahoma is up seven. He's out of bounds around the 35-yard line. He gets it up, and he nails the long field goal. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're set to go for another round. Here's the 
Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Hand off, and he's met immediately. Quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Got it and brought down immediately. Mims is back to receive. Mims fields it at the 26. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Pocket holds. He heaves it deep. And he's got it. He's taken down at the 35. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. run and he's brought down they're about four yards away here on third down and they make the stop at the 25 yard line Brad it's a it's a first down and, and it, obviously this offense right now is trying to maintain possession trying to get some rhythm going, and for them to be able to pick up a big first down right here allows them to continue to try to get to the position that they ultimately want to get, and that's into the end zone. Fires that quickly, incomplete. So the officials taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Mike two, Mike two, running, run. Going right to his tailback. There's a very impressive open field tackle. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Tenth play of the drive. Screen pass. He's got his half back. They'll bring him down around the 13-yard line. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Pitches, and he's got room. He's to the 40, and he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 50-yard line. From the 50, first down. And they got him for a loss. He's really quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. the 46. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Five wide. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Caught, but they're not going to make it. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 49. Here we go. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Caught, and big hit there to stop him. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. He fights forward to about the 23. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Got the corner. He's to the 40. And they finally tackle him at the 50. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 50 yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of five on the play. That brings them second and five. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. From their own 49-yard line, it's third down. 
The crowd of this stadium always a factor in a football game. He's going left. Brought down right around the 30. Less than three minutes in the game. And a quick throw. And he's taken down at the 19-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle made at about the 11. That makes it second and two. This is the eighth play of this drive. Nice run up the middle. Straight ahead for about six yards, and with that, they're going to pick up the first down. That's a good call going with the draw there. It put just enough pause in the defense to allow a good game. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's going to try and scramble. And he tackles him hard at the two-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He might not be able to get the pass off. Just throws this one away. Big play here for both teams. It's third and goal from the two. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Touchdown, Nebraska! Big, big touchdown on the ground, and we're back to a one-score ball game. And he adds the extra point. Tackle at the 44-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just under two to go in the game. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. Nebraska is going to use their first time out of the half here. From the 32-yard line, first down. And down he goes around the 30-yard line. The Cornhuskers call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Has some daylight. Nebraska will take their final timeout. Around five yards there on the option keep. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. So it's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The kick is up, and he just drilled it from long range. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Set, 
Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Slings it. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires across the middle, and he's tackled around the 47-yard line. Stops the clock with a spike. That makes it six and ten. From the 47 yard line. Second down. Throws down the middle. Intercepted. And I think I can hear the fat lady singing. Boy, the defense was all over the ball in the air. They come away with a dagger of an interception. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. In a game that had to be a defensive coordinator's worst nightmare. It's over. Oklahoma, 33. Nebraska, 24. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action in this one? Oklahoma comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kerbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.